A herbarium is a natural history museum. We have collections of preserved plant specimens. My name is Shelley McMahon. I'm the faculty director of the University of Arizona Herbarium. This herbarium was started before the university opened. They hired a botanist. That faculty member arrived, and he didn't have any material to use to teach the students. So he basically drove around the area getting to know the flora and making specimens and preserving them. It's the second oldest building on campus. It was built in 1903. It was originally built as the gym. So people have been documenting the diversity around them for millennia, really. People wanted to understand what plants were edible, what plants were medicinal. In Europe, you can go to some of the really old, famous herbaria and see specimens that are hundreds of years old. The idea of documenting diversity through preserving actual specimens has been around for a long time. Okay, so this is what a fully prepared herbarium specimen looks like. We have a label which gives us information on what the species is. It has a date when it was collected. This is a museum piece, and so each museum piece gets an accession number. This is number 439,329, so we have a lot of specimens in here. We also have a little packet uh, on each sheet, and that allows us to store any bits and pieces that might fall off. Carl Linnaeus was a Swedish botanist in the 1700s who looked at the way people were naming things in his time. There wasn't a system, so he developed the system that's just two words, a genus and a species. The first one is the genus, so that tells you what people think it's re closely related to, because members of a genus are all c cousins, if you will. And then the species is that one biological entity that's separate from the others. Brittlebush is Encelia farinosa, so it's in the Encelia genus. And actually, if you travel around and you see other Encelias, you'll know that, oh yeah, that's related to our brittle bush. Uh, whereas if you just called it brittle bush, you wouldn't know anything about what it's related to. Hi, I'm George Ferguson. I'm the collections manager here at the University of Arizona Herbarium. We're gonna demonstrate how the first steps in mounting the plant after it's been collected. The glue is a special glue, it's an archival glue. We actually get it from book binders. It will preserve the specimen for, uh, we anticipate, hundreds of years. We also have special paper. It's non-acidic archival paper. Also, a label has been printed with all of the really important information there. And so one mounter will make a pile of alternating um, absorbent paper, specimen, and coated wax paper, taped up wax paper and put the bricks on top when they're done for the day, and then the next day we can come out and unpack it all. So natural history collections, of which the herbarium is one, are incredibly vital for documenting and understanding biodiversity. Each object, it, it represents information that can be useful for so many different questions, and that's exciting to me. But each one of those has a story. Just the fact that it's here. Somebody had to be traveling on horseback through the mountains of Sierra Madre in order to find that particular thing, preserve it in a way that was gonna make sure it didn't rot, and it got all the way back to some museum. And the, the, the huge amount of effort it took, and still takes, to generate that kind of primary biological information is, it's inspiring to me. So I think these objects that are in here are really precious.